What is Binzib doing out here? Perhaps she is meeting someone. But whom? Abu Mali is in the dungeon. Now your helper. Zakira will drink the same milk to prove whether or not it is poisonous. Today all I see is a jealous wife who is venting out her anger and jealousy on an innocent slave for no reason by throwing around false accusations. Provoke people to throw stones at Benzir. I want them all to cause harm to Benzir. Benzir! Go after her and bring her back to me. This is the best chance I have. If I take advantage of this, I will be able to get very close to the Emperor. Then I will find a nice man for Benzir to get married to. There is only one person who would dare to marry me. And that is... the Emperor. Moti, I have told you this earlier. I don't have any such feelings for His Highness Moti. You say this, Queen Jorda. But one's face is a mirror of what one feels in one's heart. And these worries on your face revealed to me that you really do love His Highness a lot, don't you? And you also know why he is doing this, why His Highness has decided to marry Benzir, just to make you feel jealous. He is trying to get back at you because you were pushing him earlier. He is bothering you. Queen Jorda, do you know why I am the Emperor's special queen? Not even the Emperor himself interferes in my affairs. You should leave now. I don't want someone else to interfere between myself and the Emperor tonight. Leave now. You are an intelligent woman. Who said that? You are able to play with Jalal's mind to pressurize that mind and change this. Take away the magic that Queen Jorda is using to manipulate Jalal's mind in these matters, and for goodness sake, try and do something, Queen Rakaya, for yourself. Break this magic that Queen Jorda is using. What is the use of this lamp? This lamp is not a symbol of faith. It is a symbol of life in this world, Queen Rukaya. It has been burning here for many months. If it blows out on its own, then it is fine. But if someone doubts it, then bad things will happen. Luckily, I don't believe in these things. This lamp will not be staying here. I do not know how to thank you for everything that you have done for me, my queen. You are a special queen of the Mughal Empire and the Emperor. And now you have given me so much respect. Yes, I know I will be queen now. However, I will always serve you. Until I take my last breath, I will serve you no matter what. I am going to bow to you. Now that is very nice, Benzir. If you behave in this manner, then please believe me. You will never have any difficulty in the palace. In the way that some people are having. I don't want to look at me, but I can't see my husband being killed. Especially not by such a woman. And Queen Rukaya, you were a very big fool as well. You were trying to put Queen Jorda down all the time. You gave me the opportunity. And you, Queen Mother, even you supported her efforts. And why hasn't she woken up yet? I am trying my best, but the poison is extremely strong. It is the poison of the most poisonous snake. If Queen Jorda was still conscious, then we could have made her vomit out the poison, but she fell unconscious. The king means absolutely everything to me. He is my husband, he is my best friend, he is my caretaker. And you, you have come here to take everything away from me, right? Which is why I'm going to punish you all by myself. I know that all of you love me and pray for me, and that is something I really appreciate. If you all really care about me, then I would like to ask you a big favor. I need you to pray for your Queen Jorda right now. Once before, my life had been saved because of your many prayers. And now today. Today, Queen Jorda needs your prayers in order to survive. And where's the antidote? It's hidden in Benzir's room. It's in a box. It looks just like pearls, but it is not. The antidote is inside it. If Jorda is alive and well today, it is not because 
God had decided that he wanted to save her life. In fact, I believe that it must have been because all of your prayers that God has been forced to give Queen Jorda a long and healthy life to save her instead. No, Queen Jorda. I'm extremely thankful to you. You are the one who has saved our king's life. You saved me from being a widow, and I would like to thank you with my whole heart. You are just an insignificant servant, so who are you to stop me? And I think that you have forgotten that I am the first lady. I am the one who dictates what happens over here, so who are you to stop me? And as a punishment, I'm going to decide your fate for interfering with what I want to do. I want you to send a message to all of my people hiding in Agra. I want them all to know that I'm going to get out of this dungeon very soon. But sir, how will you do it? I don't understand. I hear that Queen Jorda has survived. Which means Benazir's plan was ruined. And now it is my turn to take over this plot. Jorda.